Oh yeah. Right, let's carry on. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're all just still sat here and we haven't done anything. We haven't. We don't know nothing. Still here. <laughs> Look. Job's done. It's it's done. It's thanks to, really thanks to these two. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't have got it done without them. Um so we've got the panels on the roof, we've got the trench going up to the fence, we've got the cables in the trench going up to the fence, and we've got the cables going to the caravan and it's all plugged in and it's working. And the sun's going to and the, the sun <laughs> yeah, the the sun is like that. <laughs> and what's left of the sun? But we've had um, 130 watts going into the caravan already, so uh, even in this. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, just needs to tidy up now. And uh, then we can relax and uh, probably have showers first. And then think about our pizza. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, Jen will be down a bit later as well. She's having pizza as well. And we're going to try double Gloucester and sweet corn and mushroom today. Mm. So... Uh, yeah, it should be good. So, uh, thank you both. Thank you for all your hard work. Uh, honestly, I'd, I'd, I'd never, well, not in one day. I would have got it done, but not in one day. It would have taken me about a week, I expect. Uh, um, but we went at it, didn't we? What mm. is the time now? No idea. It's, it? oh, it's 10 past three, and we didn't start until oh, about 11, did we? Three, yeah, so about four hours, and it's all done. Mm. And, uh, yeah. So I will come back to you when we start making the pizza probably, that would be good. And I did promise to show you inside Nina as well, I don't know, the little jobs I've done in there. So I'll do that as well. So. Whew. What a day. <laughs> it's four o'clock, or quarter past four now, and I haven't had dinner yet, and I need to take some tablets. So I'm going to just quickly have something, a uh, little sandwich or something, and... Um, Take my tablets and I'm gonna have a quick shower. Rick's just had his shower. Um, that's a bit Austin I'll have one after. And uh, it's all done, it's all tidied up. Um, I'm so chuffed, they've worked so hard those two. Um, wouldn't have got it done without it. It would have taken me a few days to do what we did today in about four hours, so uh, on my own. So um, yeah, I'm really thankful. Um, so thank you guys. And uh, yeah, this is probably a bit of a boring video. Um, <laughs> I did say I was going to show you what was going on in here, didn't I? So, um, I bought myself a little uh, coffee drip machine, like a drip coffee machine, uh, drip coffee, whatever, machine. Uh, it was in Morrison's for either 12 or 14 pound. Um, so I just uh, spin you round. So it's that. So I've I've installed. If you see just behind there, yeah, some instant coffee as well. <laughs> I've got some ground coffee for that. Uh, it also just boils water really quickly. Uh, it takes about two percent of the battery, and um, yeah, I can uh, just boil water and I've, I don't know. I don't drink tea, but I could have tea or hot chocolate or whatever. Um, so I've got a double socket there, which is powered by my battery down there. Um, that also powers a little socket in there for a microwave. Yay! <laughs> so we've got a microwave um, and a drawer. I've got a new drawer system. So this, this used to be my cubby hole where I used to keep all the rubbish and crap that I never ever used and carried anyway. So I've got a long drawer that comes all the way up that holds a few plates. Uh, I've got all my organiser uh, for everything else. I'll be using those pizza, cut pizza cutters later. And I've got a little um, set of scales there for weighing out the flour and everything. And um, yeah, that's that's it. And I've got some new doors down there for that, with a lock on it. That used to just be a piece of wood that I used to pull away. It was on Velcro. It's got hinges and everything on there. And another little door there under the fridge. It's just a little cubby hole there. Um, I've just got, got some cider in there, so I'll get that out for, for the others later. And that's it, that's my, my upgrade. So we've got that. And I've also got to uh, um, change my duvet cover to one of those coverless ones. And um, it's plenty warm enough. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. And I've got all my pictures, I've got some new pictures. I've got one up there of Kim Wilde on the left hand side. Thank you, Alison, my friend Alison. 
painted that for me for my birthday. And uh, yeah, so that's the new bits and pieces. I'm going to make some food now, and um, I expect we'll be making pizza in a little while as well. I'm just going to have a bit of toast or something now. Um, it's trying to rain on and off, um, but it's okay. We haven't had any downpours or anything, which is good. A little run around on there. Uh, Austin's uh, scooter earlier. I think Rick filmed it, so I'll see if I can get some footage off of Rick for that. Um, he'll probably show it on his video. I think he's doing a video. Um, don't think anything else happened. This is the rest of Nina. You've seen all that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, what else has changed? <laughs> I will. Uh, have something to eat and I shall get back to it in a little bit. There we go, so I'm using some of this Jane's Pantry bakery bread. So um, it's not really highly processed, it's fresh bread. It gets stale quickly and burns quickly. <laughs> and I'm doing right. Using my little toaster again. Uh, kettle's boiling and I'll um, have a shower in a bit. So we need hot water from that. And uh, we've got some lure pack butter and some uh, no added sugar, strawberry jam. I know jam is quite sugary anyway. Uh, um, yeah, so I'm quite looking forward to that. There we go, first bit of toast done. Second one going on now. Oh, this butter's melted quite a lot. Warm in the van. I think that's the right amount of butter. Rick loves butter. I think Steve put it one day, how much bread would you like your butter? <laughs> when we were camping last time. Oh, I do need, I just need something to take the tablets with. Have a cup of coffee and then go and have a shower. I like jam, lots of jam. <laughs> there we go. Yum, yum, yum. The toasters are very good, but you've got to keep an eye on them. Um, but they make such good toast. Not burning yet. Go. That's that business done and dusted. There we go. Nice. Right. I'm all showered. Luna's just come to join me. Let's say hello to camera, Luna. Say hello. Who's that? It's a good girl. I just had a shower. Very nice. Oh, I'm feeling all relaxed now. And, and uh, go sleep. <laughs> it is 20 past five though so we've got to start thinking about making dough soon. I just used the last of the hot water up that I'd use for the shower. Um, make a quick drink and yeah I think we need to start making thinking about the the pizzas. I uh, don't know what time generally down, maybe about seven. She's bringing some seagulls to to release from the wildlife centre, so um, our field's ideal because it's right by canal and just across from the river. So uh, they usually just walk around for a little bit and then within 10, 20 minutes they're usually all gone. So uh, they've all been injured at some point and fixed and then, uh, yeah, they'll be released. So, uh, sorry if these videos are a bit uh, disjointed, uh, I'm not used to making videos at the moment, so hopefully if I keep this up, um, they'll get better. So uh, anyway, I'm going to have to finish this and then I'd better get all the bits and pieces ready for the pizza. 
and uh, we'll go out there now. Right, oh, we're all getting ready for some pizza action. So we've got everything set up to start making the dough. Uh, Rick's just my fetter at the moment. <laughs> that's a really Good. thick fork. Yeah, that's my, like, uh, what do you call it, a corf or a yeah, it cuts as well, so I don't, oh. have, to, I don't have to use a knife. <laughs> Austin's enjoying the show, try to get him up in a minute. Mm. And uh, so I've got 300 grams of flour in there, uh, strong bread flour, um, half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just about to put some yeast in, so uh, let's sit you down in a minute if I can. Hang on. Oh. Now we're doing this um, without Steve, so <laughs> we had Steve here last time, so we want one and a half teaspoons of yeast. There we go, and just a touch of luck. And uh, next we need water. Right, Rick got me two cold water, so... Um, we're going to try again. So we've got 300 grams of flour, we've got one and a half teaspoons of yeast and half a teaspoon of yolk, salt, excuse Austin in the background. We're yeah. trying to make a video. Justin, sorry. And uh, what else do we need? Um, some olive oil in a bit, so that'll be about a tablespoon of olive oil when it comes time to use that. And semolina. So, uh, when I've measured the water, I'll come back. It's not, it's not a good design. Right, we've got like our water now, so I'm just going to tip that in as per what Steve told me to do. Don't even make a well, he said, just tip it all in. Then get a fork and then just combine it. And you make it so it's all like ragged and picking up the flour off the sides. Isn't that right, Steve? <laughs> so that's kind of picking it all up now. So uh, we're just going to tip that out and start, start kneading that. So Damien's making a video of him. I am. Pizza. Right, in between me doing these, someone needs to clean these bowls up ready for the next go. You're kidding, right? No. Nope. <laughs> Michelle was doing it, weren't you, Michelle? Yeah. Actually, I think we were just using the bowl as it was. I don't think we were. Yes, we were. No, I don't I'm think sure we were. <laughs> right. Oh, it smells so sick. Incorporate it all. Rick, yeah. set a 10 minute timer. I nearly forgot the timer. Uh, hang on. Oh. And olive oil is going to go fly in in a minute. So I would tell you what this is doing to the flower, but I can't remember and Steve's not here to <laughs> mind us. 10 minutes, it's been 9 minutes now, hasn't it? Just do 10 minutes, don't matter if you do an extra. Okay. So let me know when it's about 6 minutes. So you want a 6 minute timer as well then? No, I want you to let me know when it gets to about 6 minutes. Well that's not going to happen unless I put a timer on. <laughs> when we add the olive oil. There we go, two timers going. <laughs> did you wash your hands? Yes, I did. Yeah. Well, I haven't been going and fetching stuff. No. You feel it getting elastic already. I'll come back when it's all smooth. Rick. 
Can you press stop on my GoPro, please? Have I got voice control on that? Hmm? GoPro, stop. No. <laughs> Actually, when it was smoother, um, but it got smoother and it's been put into the container and it's been taken to the bank, so I forgot to tell you. <laughs> so uh, it's now Rick's turn to have a go. Oh, so, uh, joy. Yeah, I'll do the third one. Okay. Right, I'll see you in a bit. It's kind of adorable. Rick is now doing his pizza. Yeah. How long do you think you've been doing it? About three minutes. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you looked at the timer? No, no. but it always, it always seems like longer than it actually is because <laughs> this is quite a labour intensive. And I've really Austin's needed to be still, labour intensive uh, today. Watching on. <laughs> and, you know, digging in a trench just wasn't enough. He's made me <laughs> do bloody pizza as well. <laughs> I've said I'll do the third one. <laughs> oh, very generous of you, I've thank you. I've already. <laughs> <laughs> did do the bloody swimming, did you? Yeah, that's true. You didn't do the bloody swimming either. I, I just got stung to buggery. <laughs> God, he's such a lady, isn't he? Such a girl. She goes. Uh, I don't know. You want to so, do a decent job, you've got to do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, it would have taken me a lot less time. I wish I hadn't off, um, off, off, invited them along now. <laughs> Been done a lot quicker. Pizzas would have already been done. Uh, now look what you've done. <laughs> you're getting frustrated now. You got angry. You got Give it, giving it a good slap. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's it's good for the air bubbles. Should I start doing that thing where I start like throwing it around no, my head? No, just do it properly so we've got a nice pizza <laughs> with it. <laughs> but that'll be so boring on the video. Just a bit where they're doing that. Right, this is what they look like when the dough's smooth. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Rick's not going to do the boob thing, no. Oh. <laughs> so what you do when they're a roll, you roll it in the, in the oil all the way around. And then you do the other one. Cute it generously. Yeah. And that stops them sticking to everything when they've risen. And each other. Yes. There we go. Well, they do stick to each other a little bit when they've risen. Mm. But, yeah, you can tear them apart. Okay, right. Batch three. Mop up all the oil. I not waste any of it. It's like gold, that stuff. Yeah. In today's prices. Yeah, no, no. Mm. So the fire's stoked up, well, oh, he's it's, gone out again. it's prepared ready. Uh, we're not going to fire it up until, the, until we're ready to make it, are we? Uh, yeah, I'll get this one proven and then... Um... The others will be ready, the number one will be ready now. Yeah, probably. They were about twice as big when I went in there just now. We don't want to overprove them. Isn't that right, Austin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 